So, what is thread? So, thread is nothing but a flow of execution. So, that means flow of execution and but every thread had some job to perform. So, that means every thread have some responsibility to perform his job. Suppose we have a one flow of execution and after some times in addition to the first flow of execution another thread is created. Now, how many thread are there? Two thread. One thread is execution flow of execution is this part another thread flow of execution is this part. So, after some times in addition this task is divided into another two parts. So, how many thread are created? So, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 thread are there. So, that means through mean uh, thread means a flow of execution and at a time if I create a thread that part of the execution will be concurrently executed that is the exact concept of multi threading. So, multiple thread are concurrently executing the particular task, particular task or single program. Uh, so, different part of the program will be responsible for executing by a single thread. So, if multiple part are there in a single program, so multiple thread will be executed to complete their job. So, keep that in mind. So, flow of execution is called thread, right? But every thread should have some responsible to finish his job. So, how many way we can create a thread? That is a big question. So, we already this uh, I have already told you that there are two way we can define a thread and a thread class is belongs to java dot lang package. I told you that thread is a instance uh, um, instance uh, of the class java dot lang dot thread class and we say that thread of execution. There are thread means two things a instance of a class java dot lang thread and second one is thread of execution. So, there are two way there are two way we can define a thread first one is by extending thread class by for extending thread class and the second approach is by implementing runnable interface. Let us uh, talk about the first one let us discuss about the first one how to extend a thread class. So, I am taking a simple example so that it will be more clear to you. So, suppose so by using by extending thread class. Suppose you have a class, so I am defining a class, name of the class is you can give any name. So, name of the class is my thread and it extend extend thread class. So, thread. So, we have a method public void run and within this method I have written for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus system dot out dot print ln I have given a message that is child thread. So, this run method is complete and this is complete. Now, to calling this function I have taking another class, class for example, name is thread demo. Within this class public static 
void main string ox if i want to access this method what i have to do i have to create a, a object of my thread class so i am just creating a object so my thread t equal to new my thread then you have to call the start method then i am writing something for understanding for int i equal to 0 i less than for example 10 i plus plus then sop main thread for loop is complete, data is complete, is complete. Now, I have written a program, how to implement the thread class by, uh, how to create a thread class by extending a thread class. Now, look at this, this part is called defining a thread. So, this part is called defining a thread. So, this part of the code is responsible for defining a thread and what is tux here? So, these things, these things is a tux for this thread. So, execute by child thread. This is my parent thread and this is my child thread. And this is the task is executing by main thread. So, execute by main thread. Executing by main thread. So, this is starting a thread. So, now look at this. I have extend a thread class extend a thread class ok. So, I have extended thread class. So, I have written class class name extend thread that is the syntax for writing or extending or creating a thread. Within this thread class I have written a run method, it is a no argument method. I am just discussing in a moment what does it actually mean. Then within the public static void main I have created an object of a class. So, that means, that class object is created t, then t dot start, then starting a thread. Now, in this example, there are so many things is happening. First, when we create an object of a class, it does not mean that we have executed the or we can uh, start a thread. So, at this point how many thread are there? Only one thread that is called by default main thread. So, that means, if I think like that we have a only one thread up to this point. So, programming JVM will call the main method. So, public study void main, main, main method will be called and after this, this line will be executed that means, first it will create the object of this class. So, up to this point only one thread is executing that is called main thread by default. And then if I call the t dot start method, t dot start method, it will call the run method. That means, another thread is created that is called child thread. So, this is my main thread, this is my child thread. 
So, this part of the code will be executed. So, then I will get child thread as a output. After that, this part of the thread will be this part of the code will be executed by main thread. So, whatever I have written within this main class, so thread demo class that is executed by execution is by that job is responsible for main thread and whatever we have written in my thread class that is responsible for child thread. Okay. So, now how the flow of execution is, is going on in this example. So, first we have created an object means we have just initiated an thread or define a thread. Okay. Then when we call the start method, start method call the run method start method called the run method. Look at that we have not written any start method here. We have not written any start method here, but we have just called this method of this through this object. So, so main, main thread is main thread is starting a new child thread. So, if I do not create any thread only one thread is executing in our program that is called main thread and if I want to create another thread then we have to call the start method. The start method execute the run method, run method and so many code will be executed. So, if I think that so child thread now the child thread and main thread are executing concurrently or simultaneously they are concurrently. So, we cannot say that the first this portion of the code will be executed that means I will get child thread, child thread, child thread in 10 times the loop will be continued 10 times and after finishing this child thread it will uh, execute for i int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus. So, that means we will get output main thread there is a no guarantee that we will get the output one by one because both thread are executing simultaneously. So, we can say that this type of output we may get but there is no guarantee. So, it may be child thread, then main thread, then child thread, main thread or maybe child thread 5 times, then main thread 5 times. So, there are so many type of output you can get, but we cannot guarantee that is a specific output. We can also provide some uh, output, different kind of output may be happen, it depends on the thread scheduler, depend on the thread scheduler. Uh, the concept of thread pseudo and coming later. So, first understand this tax in this way we can create a thread by using extend a thread class. Clear? So, if I want to create uh, a thread class by extending thread class. So, if I want to start a child thread first we have to create an object of this class. So, that means, then we have to call the start method. If start method is called means starting a thread. Start method call the run method. So, start method will call the run method and that the run method that means, a child thread has some job that has to be performed. Whatever we will write within the run method that part will be executed in our code. So, now uh, there are so many things we uh, from this example we can so many things we can we have to discuss. So, I am just going through one by one. 